Hello there. Today, hello doggy. I will be replacing this humongous tail light and blinkers with this DRC tail light blinkers all in one. Okay, let's begin. Simple process. Okay, start with taking the seat off. I'm sure, it's already undone. Then, uh, you want to take this off. Just the bolts, two bolts, bolts there. Come off, pull that apart, and they just it unclicks, unclicks, and pops out. Easy. Then you're left with the connector. It's easily disconnect it. Just push, push that in there, and disconnects. Then you have uh, four bolts. One, two, three, four. I've already taken those two out. So they're ten mils, and these are twelve mils. Don't ask me why they're different, but they are. Okay, so just undo those. And then the thing just uh, just sort of slides out, and that's it. And there's another chunk of weight taken off your bike. So I'll just put that over there, and it's going to be replaced with this little thing that sits sits about there. Okay, just got to check out the where the spaces go, and I'll connect up these wires. I bought a I bought a connector for it to make life easy. This little connector here, which slots straight into the uh, original connection that's there. Just got to solder these wires on, and I'll be back. There is the connector. Solder it and it's all ready to plug in to that. Okay, let's fit this thing. Now, according to the instructions, these spaces go here. Okay, so one and two. And then this just fits over the top and screws in. It's all nice and even. Yeah, looks good. Actually, should have added a bit of Loctite to those. But never mind. That's it. Now, just got to tidy up these wires a bit. I didn't cut the. I didn't cut the length. There's plenty of room down here. I'll just tidy it up and plug it in. Then we'll put the plastics back on, see? And we'll give it a go, see if it works. Okay, all done. Look at that. How much better does that look?
could have been a bit, come back a bit further. A little mud flap. And also I've noticed that I'm going to get a lot of mud and crap. It's going to shoot up into here and water and probably wreck, could wreck it. So I'm going to make some kind of bracket here to cover it up, seal it all up. Anyway, let's have a look, see how it works. Programming sounds pretty straightforward. It says you just have to hold the brake, turn the ignition on at the same time, wait a couple of seconds, and then flick the brakes on and off uh, 12 times in 8 seconds. So let's see how we go. Brake, ignition, 1, 2, let go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, let's see. Yep, we're into programming mode. Let's, every time now you hit the brake, it changes the program. So, let's go, next. So, flasher, the quicker. Next. Faster again. Next. Okay. Confuse people. That will definitely confuse people. Yeah, I think that's a fixed rate, fixed blinker rate. It's pretty slow. I won't use that for now. The next one is that's supposed to be the same as your front blinkers. But I know the front blinkers are flashing too much, so it's not enough resistance on it. Have to fix that, put a resistor on it. I think I'll stick with that for now. Okay, and that's it. So that, and then you turn off the ignition, and that saves it. So let's see. On. Okay, blinkers. Right. Oh, that's the same speed as my front blinker. Okay, I don't like that. Change that. That's that. Brake lights on. Okay, that's it. Very easy job. There she is, folks. All finished. That's all the mods I want to do for now. So I'll run through them. Uh, Impra bash plate. Uh, Impra radiator guard. Um, EJK fuel jet controller, which is under the seat. You can't see the power bomb FMF header. Leading on to the power core 4. And also got rid of the old tail light, the big old horrible looking tail light, and put the DRC integrated uh, blinkers. So it's nice and small. Look at it, looks terrific. And I can't wait to ride it. It's going to lose a lot of weight. That's a lot. Of top weight that's gone so I should feel big difference and there you have it CRF 250L uh, mod 1